Hello everyone, this is Virendra Singh and welcome back at Mastercam multi axis tutorials and tool path series where today I am going to show you that how we can create a proper and a perfect 3 plus 2 machining. So if you are the person who is really interested to know what is 3 plus 2, how we can create the programming with the help of 3 plus 2 and what is the different and what is the process for create a 3 plus 2 programming. So in this video, in this exercise, I am going to show you step by step that how you can create a complete part with the help of 3 plus 2 programming where I show you that what is how you can create a programming on the different kind number of faces, different number of planes as well as how you can create a new plane in the master camp. So here you are going to learn about each and everything about the 3 plus 2 programming where you will get idea and get understand about the complete process and you will can become an expert and a good programmer in the 3 plus 2 just with the help of this exercise. So this exercise may be part divided into three parts where in this first part I am going to show you the simulation of that one part that helps you to understand about that how the 3 plus 2 programming is cutting a complete part on a machine. So in this first I would like to show you the simulation of my component in a, this one format and after that I will take this part on a proper and a perfect machine where I show you a proper step by step that how my part will going to be created proper properly and perfectly on a proper machine. So first I would like to show you a proper simulation in a verify mode. In a verify mode as you can see here this is upper side my tool in the bottom portion this is my voice and this is my workpiece. Now let we have to start step by step that how we can create that part proper and perfectly. For creating that one component, I just make the my speed is little slow and now let we have to start. Once I start to cut my part, as you can see, this part is firstly programmed and at this is started with the, I just uh, make the highlighted low and up for that one portion. Now have a look. This is my part and outer side, this is my raw material. So as you can see here. So first operation is successfully completed with the help of three axes. So these first operation, this is the second operation and the next one, the third operation, all these operations are we created in the three axis machining. And now after that we will start to create that how we can create a program for the three plus two. Three plus two means first you have to understand about three plus two. What is the meaning of three plus two? Three plus two means your, you have a three axis and the remaining two axes will be working in a positionally that will not working in a simultaneously so that's why so once my top portion is successfully completed after that from which profile tool needed to require to cut so tool will came from that side in that condition when it is working on properly and perfectly on a machine so in this condition that part tool will your workpiece and all these things will be rotating as per the, my profile as per my tool according to all these things so I will also show you that how you can do all these things on a properly and perfectly on a machine as well. So as you can see there are different number of operations that we perform from the top, from the left, from the right as well as you will also learn in this part that how you can create a program for the tree slot. And now the next operation is have a look with a small tool that's one area and now drill again drill, drill in a positional and the last and final drill in position. Now let we have after that I also show you that how you can create a chamfer for that one upper portion and the chamfer the next is this one is also after that I have to create the chamfer on this a portion also and after that a chamfer on this one is. So as you can see now I would like to take you on a proper 3D simulation. For create that part on a proper and perfect simulation, now I take you on a proper machine. This is my machine and just I hide my lock or the door window. Now let we have to understand about that how it will going to be performed properly on a perfectly on a machine. Now have a look. This is my machine and after that this is my stock. Now as you can see this is my stock, this is my work holding device that is I use for as a voice and now let we have to play this tool path. I make speed little slow to understand you in a proper and a better way. 
now have a loop this is a continuously passes that i created now this the first tool path which i created right at here so in the first tool path my tool is came from the top side and it's cutting proper and perfect format step by step once that successfully completed after completion of this tool will going to be create my part for the next tool path now as you can see here this is my first part that is going to be completely created now after creating this now it is going to be go for the second portion or second area now have a look now this is my third operation that going to be cut so all three operations perform from the top of my part and after that the workpiece the machine table automatically tilting as per the requirement as per the required so it's tilting on the left it tilting as per requirement on the right it tilting again as per the left so what we do in the programming so it's all these things will be happening automatically all these things will be tilting automatically so in this exercise you will learn about all these things that how all these things are working properly if you don't watch the simulation so in that condition you will getting stuck that how all these things are perfectly working on a machine so the simulation file is very and most important now have a look this work piece is getting to be tilting on a particularly angle so for that one purpose we need to create a new plane so you will also learn about that how we can do all these things properly and perfectly now have a look this is my cutting area for the my center portion after that the drill from the top drill for the next portion after that drill from the left side drill from the right side so you will go learn all these things that how it these all these things are working and what are the different process to create a part in a proper and perfect way with the help of 3 plus 2 machine now have a look this is my chamfer part and again this is my chamfer so now as you can see here this is my complete part which i created on 3 plus 2 machining and now as you can see here this is my part and that is a proper part a perfect part we did it successfully on a 3 plus 2 machining and now in the next video we would like to show you that how you can do the programming for that complete part what are the step what are the different process what how you have to take the stock and all these things and we show you that what is the important factor that you have to keep in mind when you are working on a 3 plus 2 machining because there are the lot of things there are the lot of important parameter that you have to keep in mind when you are working on 3 plus 2 so this is the first video which i show you that how you can create the simulation for my 3 plus 2 machining in the next video i show you that how you can create your part programming on 3 plus 2 as well as i show you a lot of tricks lot of tips that what the th important thing that you have to keep in mind when you are working on 3 plus 2 So thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video where we learn about that how you can program that part so if you have any question or doubt you can comment as well as i request to all of you guys please comment on our comment section that how how is you like our videos and what the next thing that you would like to suggest that we create videos on these topics so thank you so much see you in the next video